If you have ever heard your ABA service provider discuss manding in relation to your child and wondered what on earth that could mean, then this episode of Behavior Nation Applied Behavior Analysis series of parent education videos on manding will be right for you. Today, we will review what a mand is. We will talk about mans and reinforcement, why they happen, the different types of mans, and why we teach them. Let's review what a mand is. Put simply, a mand is a request for something. In this verbal operant, the speaker is requesting something from the listener. This can be done in many ways, such as a vocal request, a picture exchange, use of sign language, or another communication device. Let's discuss mans and reinforcement. Mans are reinforced when the listener responds. So if your child who is the speaker asks for anything from you and you respond, you will be reinforcing them. Natural reinforcement is used in mans. That means that when you deliver the item or activity that your child requests, you are providing them with reinforcement. Mans are usually the first type of communication that is acquired by a child. Since the mans are the way that your child will communicate what they need to you, it is typically the first that will develop. In order for a man to occur, there must be a motivating operation or an MO. This is simply the motivation for certain behaviors. So it will determine how effective a reinforcer is at that time and the number of behaviors that will occur that have been related to that reinforcer in the past. The motivating operation will determine how valuable that reinforcer is at that time. There are two types of motivating operations. The first is an establishing operation. This will make a behavior more likely to happen. It will increase the effectiveness of a reinforcer at that time, and thus the behaviors that have been used to gain access to that reinforcer will increase. For example, if it has been a long time since your child has eaten, behaviors that have been associated with receiving food in the past will happen more frequently. Further, the use of food as a reinforcer will be more effective than if your child had just eaten. The next type is an abolishing operation. This means that a behavior would be less likely to happen. The reinforcer will be less effective and the behaviors that have been associated to gain access to that reinforcer will decrease. An example of this is if your child has just engaged in playing with their favorite toy or activity for an extended period of time, it is less likely that they will engage in behaviors to gain more access or request additional time. Let's take a closer look at some establishing operations. If it's been several hours since your child has eaten, this is an establishing operation for manding for food. If it's been several hours since your child saw you last, this could be an establishing operation for gaining your attention. If you tell your child it's time for your least favorite thing, this could be an establishing operation for them to request to be done, take a break, or get out of it. Let's review some examples of abolishing operations. If your child just ate a big meal, this is likely an abolishing operation for manding for food. If your child has played with you all day, this could be an abolishing operation for engaging in mans for your attention. If you tell your child it's time for their favorite activity, it's likely an abolishing operation for them to request to be done, to take a break, or to get out of that activity. Mans can take many different forms and happen for many different reasons. For example, your child could man for information. This could be something like, where did I leave my backpack? Or what's your favorite color? There can also be mans for attention. Hey, look at me over here. There could be mans for help. Can you open my snack container? There could be mans for access to items. I want my favorite toy now, please. 
There can be demands for access to items. For example, your child could ask for their favorite snack. There can be demands for others to engage in actions. I want a big hug, mom. Jump up and down with me. There can be demands to avoid an activity. Can we do that later or in a minute? There can also be demands to escape an ongoing activity. I'm all done with this or I need a break. There are several reasons that we want to teach manding. The first is that mans are incredibly important to social interactions. When your child learns that they can get access to the things that they need through others in their environment, then people can become a source of reinforcement. The next is that mans can be used as replacement for your child's challenging behaviors. For example, if your child can let you know, hey, I need a break right now instead of pushing their school materials off their desk, whining or crying, this is an appropriate replacement behavior. Further, being able to request to get their wants and needs met promotes autonomy and independence. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Behavior Nation's Parent Education series of videos focusing on manding. If you have any questions, please email us at info at behaviornation.com. Call us at 844-262-8466 or check us out on our website, www.behaviornation.com.